Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today I've got a cool setup right over here. The Google Pixel 9 Pro and an external display connected via docking station. This is an HDMI display, although you can use a USB Type-C display as well. Keyboard, mouse, gamepad, and it's on desktop mode, which is not enabled by default. And I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can achieve that. Now, if you are wondering if you can do it with the Google Pixel 9 and Pro XL, this is the Pro and also the 8, 8 Pro and 8A. I will share all that info as well. That being said, let's go and take care of this setup. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. So we will require a few things, obviously the Google Pixel 9, 9 Pro or 9 Pro XL. I did test out with those three already and also with the 8 lineup, but with the 9 lineup, all of them work. And I will share in just a few moments my experience with all of them. Besides that, we will need a display. Now we can use a USB Type-C display, which will connect directly to the phone, or we can use a docking station to connect to that display. Or in this particular case, I'm using just a regular HDMI display, 24 inches. I will try to leave the link down below. This is a budget display, about 80 euros, $80 more or less, which is connected to a docking station. And then the HDMI will go out to the display and at the same time I'm charging the phone and I can connect my keyboard, mouse and so on and so forth. I did test out with three docking stations. All of them were great. One of which I'm testing out, this is for dual screens, but we will not get extended display by the way. So I would keep for this project a low profile docking station. I will leave some links down below so that you can check out. But basically that is it. In terms of the setup, this is it. Now the Google Pixel 8 and 9 do not come by default ready for the desktop mode and for that we will need to enable the developer mode and we will need to enable the desktop mode. So let's go to the screen and we'll share with you the steps that you need to do which are quite easy. So for the desktop mode to work we need to enable it and for that I'm using the Google Pixel 9 at this moment so let's go to settings and right here and then go below about phone and here we will need to go to the end where it says build number we will need to press a few times and we will see you are now three two steps away one and bam there we go it will ask for my pin so we just need to put our pin here and say yes okay and now let's go back and where it says system we select system and we will have available the developer option so let's select that and we will need to search for where it says standby apps we will select force desktop mode yes and reboot later because we want to do a few more changes and then enable freeform windows yes reboot later and force activities to be resizable. Yes, and that is it. And before we reboot the phone, uh, I would suggest to go to the Play Store and search for an app which is Taskbar. Because um, if we don't use Taskbar or any other launcher, what will happen is that we will have an empty screen, more or less, which is the desktop mode on the Pixel. So Taskbar will change this. We will have a better looking desktop. Now, there are a few other launchers that you can test out. And if you test out others and if you find one that works better than Taskbar, please let us know down below on the comment section. But Basically, this is it. Now we just need to restart the phone and connect to our display. And that is it. Once we enable developer mode and also the desktop mode, we can restart the phone. And once we connect the phone to either a USB Type-C display or a normal display via a USB Type-C docking station with HDMI outputs, it will ask if we want to mirror the display. And we will have this image 
it right over here and we will be able to control with our keyboard, mouse, game pads and whatever we want in terms of gaming and so on and so forth. I did test out with three launchers. At this moment, this is the taskbar launcher, which is probably one of the best that we can put on this kind of workflow. But I also did test out with Microsoft launcher and the Google Pixel launcher by default. So that being said, let's go to the setup and see what we can get out of it. And now here we are on this really simple setup with the Google Pixel 9 Pro. I've got this docking station right over here, which I will leave the link down below, but I've tried at least three and all of them did work great. Actually, this one is an overkill for that, but I'm testing it out, so I just plugged it in. But I have a keyboard and mouse connected right over here, the HDMI cable to this regular display, and you can plug to a projector or any other bigger display that you have, or even a USB Type-C display, which can be directly to the phone. Besides that, we will test in just a few moments the gamepad as well in another game. And here at this moment, I'm using the taskbar launcher, which is really useful and better than the uh, the one that comes with Pixel 9, which is just a blank screen basically with the app draw. So I can select the app that I want right over here, or I can go to the recents, for example. I can change what I've got on my desktop. I can change the desktop wallpapers and so on and so forth. Now, in terms of some things, the games are working great, at least for what I've tried. And if I put it in full screen and let's start a game, I'm going to minimize Chrome. I'm going to press play and I'm going to show you this in real time so that you can see the performance, but you will be able to play any kind of game on the Google Pixel 9 or Google Pixel 9 Pro without any issues whatsoever. Now, the only thing that I believe that in this particular case and other apps that I've seen so far is that you see this black bar on the top, this needs to be improved because it cuts a little bit of the image. Now, for this game, it's a bit um, annoying, I would say, because I will lack some information right over here but for most apps this will not apply so if i minimize and you can see that the performance of the game is uh, awesome and you can try other games without any issues but if we go to chrome right over here and if i go full screen here we don't have that issue i can just type and besides that i can scroll so even if i had lose a little bit of the screen on top i would have so for this kind of app the experience is great without any issues but let me show you one more that it's giving me a few issues the same issue is the play store for example if we go full screen or even not full screen we will not see the area where we write. I'm not really sure if there's anything that I can do to optimize this, but at this moment, if I go right over here to search anything, and if I go to asphalt, I know that I'm writing, but I don't see uh, what I'm writing. So this is one of the things that I would like to see improve. Not really sure if it's the taskbar launcher not optimized for the Pixel 9, but uh, let's see with time. And also with your comments down below, if you have a way to fix this issue, please let us know so that we can update the video and so on and so forth. But the experience so far, great. And for those that want to use the phone at the same time, you can use the phone while doing any task. You can answer calls and so on and so forth. I forgot to mention that I'm using a power adapter connected to this docking station so that we charge the phone at the same time that we are using. So if you are here for a few hours, we will not deplete the battery. We can uh, keep on working and like this, a computer on our pocket. So just connected the gamepad and it's working great. I just found one issue right over here with this particular game, but we will test one more to see is that when I do full screen, the game will crash and we need to restart it and it will restart. So this particular game uh, accepts the gamepad as it would on the phone, but it's not working. This is Beach Buggy. So let's just play for a while. As you can see the performance and it's really quick, but unfortunately not available in full screen. Hopefully this gets fixed with firmware on the launcher or even on Pixel. I believe that this is a launcher uh, issue compatibility with some games. So in terms of the gameplay itself and the performance, really, really cool. I already uh, started and did a quick run for my Portuguese channel. So <laughs> I'm doing it again and everything very fluid. So I would say so far for the test that I've been doing for productivity, great. Uh, for gaming, it depends on the games. Probably there will be uh, quite a few more that will have this issue right over here, but we will 
try and check it out. Oops, I was downloading Asphalt 8 and it was taking a bit. So I decided to connect a Ethernet cable to the docking station and it's working. So I already downloaded speed test so that I can share a test with you. Let's press go. And at this moment we are connected via Ethernet. The maximum of my connection is 500 megabits and that's what we are achieving right now. And in terms of uploads, my maximum is about 150, 160. My SP is <laughs> really not so it increases a little bit but this is what we are achieving in terms of the um, Ethernet connectivity also we have that indication right over here also on the phone we are still downloading Asphalt 8 and one thing that we can check out is when I disconnect the Ethernet cable in this particular case it will remove the signal and it will go back to the Wi-Fi connection so I just downloaded Asphalt 8 and I was recording on my Puchkis channel and testing out a little bit here the experience so far really good with the exception of one thing which is in terms of full screen uh, it's not really there so it's it's working it's not crashing but it needs to be optimized. Now, before we end this video, I will try out with the uh, Pixel launcher, original launcher without the taskbar or the Microsoft launcher so that we can see if this is an issue in terms of the launcher itself or if it's something that it's not optimized yet on the Pixel uh, desktop mode, which will not allow some apps to go into full screen but this one did not crash as we could see but it does not scale so only in small size we can play okay and now with traffic rider and as we can see it is in full screen now I will keep on throttling but if I put it on uh, like this and whoa 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 that was a close one so the experience is great and uh, this one is compatible with full screen so we have so far two apps that work in full screen two games actually and two that don't work in full screen so i believe that this is some kind of optimization either on the launcher or on the pixel side but before we finish the video i will test out without the launcher to see if it's a compatibility issue in terms of the launcher or if it's the pixel desktop version with some issues in some games but this one is working nice so we can do like this or we can go full screen without issues whatsoever and now with the google pixel 9 normal version i've tested out with the google pixel 9 pro pro excel and the 9 which was the last one and it's working fine now i did not install any launcher so no taskbar no microsoft launcher we have the normal launcher that comes from the pixel desktop mode we can browse it around it's not as nice as the other launchers but i wanted to test out something and share with you which was one of the games that we did test out beach buggy racing did not run in full screen and this one i already did when we press full screen will crash so this means that it's not an issue with any of the launchers that i've tested so far it's an issue with the desktop mode in some apps will crash so it's not yet there but other than that in my experience working great so just meant to get my google pixel 8 uh, generation so this is the google pixel 8a working fine the same settings as we did on the 9 and as we can see no launcher installed just the normal version of the app uh, it works the same way i've been testing a few things here but one thing that i wanted to test out is that if the 8 or 8 pro works and it seems that it doesn't when i disconnect the 8a and if i connect the 8 for example and let me take this out of the screen it will not show uh, it will charge the battery it will detect the mouse it will detect the gamepad it will detect the ethernet connection but it will not um, show me the mirroring display i'm not really sure if you can see the ethernet connection right over here so it's charging it's doing everything but it's not mirroring the display the options that i did select for all of the eight phones 8a 8 and 8 pro were exactly the same that i did with the 9 so i'm not really sure if i'm missing something because this was a feature that was introduced back on the 8 pro which i didn't test out but i'm testing right now and it's not working now besides testing out with this setup right over here i also got this display which is entirely usb so i thought okay let's test out with just usb connection and what happens is that it will give signals so it will send the energy there 
in this particular case we are just using a cable no docking station at all but it will not show me the message here to mirror display and it will not send the signal there so I'm not really really sure if I'm doing anything wrong but it doesn't show any kind of image and let me just turn off non-disturb but I believe that it's not that I'm sorry that I'm testing out here with you but this is going uh, as soon as I'm testing and sharing with the community so no it should have appeared so if I connect any of the Google 9 it will work and if I connect the Google 8a for example as soon as we connect it will show me right over here the option to mirror display and once we select the mirror display it will send the image to the screen and we will be able to use it but at this moment just testing out with one cable no uh, docking stations whatsoever so it seems that the all uh, 9 9 pro and 9 pro xl will work 8 8 pro will not so far and the 8a will work as well and basically this is it a great experience so far it's not as advanced as samsung dex for example which is one operating system that i love to use for this kind of setup but it's better than not having a desktop version now we in my opinion of course will be able to multitask especially in apps like google sheets microsoft word and things like that without any issues if we want to browse the web or watch videos then no issues at all but expect that in some apps especially games on my experience at least 50% of the games that I did test out out of four games did not work out in full screen so I believe that there will be plenty of games that will work in full screen and probably also plenty that will not work in full screen but everything else work great and with our phone charging at this moment connected to the internet and connected to everything my peripherals and the display we can use the phone while working and have a computer on our Pocket. so hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerta George and as always I'll see you on the next one